Okay, so I want to do a quick tutorial, low budget, about how quickly and easy it is to create an Air application for Android and publish it on the market and get it out there for people to download. So Android runtime, the Air runtime is now on the market, so you're ready to start building stuff, selling it, giving it away for free, whatever. So I'm not going to talk about tool setup because on Go-To and Learn already, we have, I have a two-part tutorial, and I'm just going to be using the latest version of the Flash uh, CS5 um, extension from the Android pre-release. So just go ahead and grab that if you haven't watched those earlier tutorials. So let's first just build a really quick Air, Air application. Again, I'm doing this all from scratch. There's no pre-made whatever here. So I have a uh, we're going to build an app which is my cat B and you press on her and she meows. It's a simple app but I think it's one the world has been needing so let's just do it. So Flash CS5 I'm gonna create from template Air for Android yes I'm gonna click OK so here's my app and now I'm gonna save it to the desktop and I'm just gonna call it B per just kind of a play on words like beeper well we'll see. Click Save Control R, I'm going to import to the stage and get that b.png. That's what I want. I'm going to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to make it a button symbol. I'll call it B. We'll double click in there. Go into the timeline. I'm going to put a keyframe on that down state. Again, Command R. I'm going to choose that cat meow.wave. And we should see it now in the library. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that out and let's test our application so here's the application Oh, it's so cute so there it is so now I'm ready to actually publish this to the market let's face it there's no more improvements that can be done to this thing so I'm gonna to go to properties air for Android settings so this is the APK file that I'm gonna to have to upload to the Android market the app name app ID version I'm gonna keep it portrait um, for deployment, now this is where you're going to have to create a new certificate. So if you've been doing it, uh, if you've been working in the pre-release, you need want to make sure you create a new certificate. Uh, make sure basically that it's good for 25 years um, because that's the requirement on the Android market. So I'm just going to click Create. Publisher name, Lee Brimlow, organizational unit, none. You have to fill out all of these fields, so we just put whatever in here, none. Uh, password. One two three four, one two three four. Val validity period twenty five years. Now where do I want to save this? I actually want to save it to the desktop. Um, my cert p twelve. That's fine. Okay, so it's been created. Let me put in my password. And now we're going to want to make sure we have release build because we're going to be uploading this to the Android market. Um, I don't want to launch it on on any Android device um, or. I don't want to do any of that. So I'm just going to click publish now. And it's actually going ahead and creating my Android application. So there it is, it's done. I can close out of Flash now. And we can see on the desktop we have our bper.apk. So now over in the browser, you want to go to android.com forward slash market, which is where you can kind of browse the market. And at the bottom, if you're a developer, learn about publishing your application here. Now I've already created an account, but this is going to ask you to create a, a an account uh, t in order for you to allow you to publish applications. So I have a few applications here. Only one of them is currently published on the market, which is my Joe Pesci Lines app. These two are, are no longer, you know, that I'm publishing. But here's kind of your your control panel for applications that you have on the market. And it doesn't matter whether these are Air applications or native. Again, we are actually creating a native Android application here. Now, if I want to charge for my applications, um, and this one I'll probably give away for free, um, but if you can sign up here for a merchant account, which is really easy. But from here, if I, I want to uh, put my application on the market, just go to Upload Application, choose APK file. So I want to choose beeper.apk, Upload. There we go. So now it's worked correctly. It's uploaded. Now, if I want to add screenshots, so when people browse the market, I can do that. Um, promotional graphics, um, you know, I don't have to, so I'm just going to leave it all blank. Obviously, you're probably going to want to do this. Um, so for title here, we want to put the title again, beeper, description, uh, b meows. What more can you want? 
application type, it's an application, entertainment, copy protection, we're not going to worry about that, blah, 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 this is fine, does it meet the content guidelines, I certainly hope so, I acknowledge that, da, 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 da. yes, publish, and we can see now my beeper application is published on the Android Marketplace, well, let's test that, so I got my webcam here, and I got my trusty Samsung Captivate, so I'm going to go to Android Market, and I'm going to go ahead and search, and let's search. So, B per. I'm going to search for it. Look at that; it's already there. So as soon as I click publish um, in my uh, little control panel there, here it is on the market. So, B meows. What more can you want? Of course, I'm going to install that, and I think you should too. So it's installing right now. We can see in my little status bar. Successfully installed Beeper. Let's pull this down and let's click it. And there it is. Now I haven't sized this, you know, done any dynamic layout, which is what you're going to want to do. But oh, come on. That's how easy it is and how fast it is to develop Android applications in air and get it out in the marketplace.